Yeah, hi again. Thank you for joining. Uh, let's our webinar about how to deliver high value results using the latest features and generative AI from Google Workspace start. Uh, hope everything is well with you guys and let us start. So first I would like to introduce uh, our speakers. It's uh, actually myself. Uh, my name is Ole. I'm the general manager of Cloudfresh. Also would like to introduce uh, Anna Koronowska, who is territory manager at Google as well as uh, Alexander Vakula. He is sales executive specialist and cloud digital leader at Cloudfresh. And also our valuable customer, uh, Jubal, in face of Dmitro Mihor, who is head of IT support. So let's proceed. A few words, just a few words about uh, who we are, who are the Cloudfresh. We are authorized partner of Google Cloud, Google Workspace, as well as uh, a partner of Zendesk, Asana, uh, and GitLab. We are a certified partner, which means that we can provide additional services, not only just to the resell the services. And uh, also a bit of the services that we are providing across of the solutions like Google Clouds and Desk, Asana and the GitLab. As you might see, it's written here on the slides. We do the kind of full cycle in terms of the personalization, the, uh, development, support, uh, as well as the customer care and so on. Uh, regarding specifically Google Workspace, yeah, as I already mentioned several times, we are certified partner and so on. So we are, as well can provide you with the specific services, additional services for Workspace, such as trainings for your uh, users and IT administrators, implementations, migrations, administration as well of the services, and for sure support. So when you choose the Google Workspace, you will not be the only one. Yeah, Cloudfresh here to help you with it. And uh, just as a kind of reference, evidence about the customers uh, who trust Cloudfresh, who are working with us, and we are also very, very grateful to them for this, such as uh, Whirlpool, Jubal, Cyclum, Macpoy, Deloitte, Riddle, Telesoft, and many, many other customers across Europe and actually uh, all of the earth uh, taking this chance to say thank you for being with us. And uh, short reminder for those who might be interested, uh, later this month, actually 27th of June, uh, we together with uh, Google and Lenovo, we're going to have an offline meeting about us as well workspace in Prague. If you are interested, please join us. You can uh, register yourself by scanning this uh, QR code or just visiting our website. So, and to the webinar. Uh, our agenda. Yeah, first part is Google Workspace and Google AI. Uh, this part is going to be covered uh, by uh, Anna Kuronowska from Google. Then we're going to switch to product updates and do it AI for Workspace. Alexander Vakula will cover this topic. Then we would like to ask uh, Dimitro from Jubal, our customer, to uh, cover third part of the webinar customer success case. Uh, the third, the, the fourth, sorry, the fourth uh, part is going to be demo time. It will be a specific feature which uh, Google Workspace added uh, recently. It has the name appointment scheduling. It will be presented as well by uh, Alexander Vakula. And last, we'll have some specific Q quiz and uh, Q and A session. By the way, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put those questions in chat. We're going to cover all of the questions in the end of the webinar. And uh, the last very things about the quiz that we will have, we will have in the end of the uh, webinar, we will have a short quiz with the three questions. Uh, the 
fastest, three of the fastest uh, answers will receive from us uh, gift cards for uh, 35, 35, yeah, 35 uh, pounds for Google Merchandise Web Store. So we, you will just need to quickly reply to the answer uh, to the questions in the chat. So I guess we can start and once more time let me introduce anna koronowska i see that she already prepared she already want to start her slides anna welcome you are also co-presenter co-presenter i shared the rights with you so you can switch the slides and stage is yours thank you thank you very much oleg uh, yes i'm ready thank you for for introduction and for having me. First of all, welcome everyone. Um, uh, as uh, Oleg mentioned, I'm the uh, Google Workspace Specialist for uh, for the region of Central Eastern Europe. Uh, so I welcome everyone. Um, and uh, I just wanted to stress uh, at the beginning that uh, we are working together with uh, Cloudfresh since uh, many, many years. And uh, they are one of the main uh, partners for implementing uh, Google Workspace here in the region. Uh, so I'm really happy to be invited also by them uh, to this webinar and be here together with you to tell you a little bit more about Google Workspace, uh, to give you the introduction um, of Google Workspace and a uh, Google Artificial Intelligence, which is a very hot topic recently, uh, together with all the announcement, recent announcement, but I will see uh, Sundar Pichai um, on, uh, on the recent even uh, IO. So I will uh, I will give you some introduction and then Alexander will continue to tell you a little bit more about the exciting coming uh, coming news that uh, that are here with us. Okay, so let me dive in into into the presentation. Uh, so Google Workspace, it's uh, how the teams of all size connect, create, and collaborate. Those three words are very important because they define our three pillars of the Google Workspace. So first pillar of connect, which, um, which uh, consists of the applications like Gmail, so our top uh, mailbox with, with the top um, filters, anti-spam filters, um, with our calendar, chat, uh, Google Meet that we are using right now. So all the all the application that helps you to basically connect from wherever you work at any time and, and from anywhere. Um, the second pillar, create and collaborate, which consists of all the documents like docs, sheets, slides, forms, um, as well as a Jamboard uh, to make some brainstorming. All those uh, all those applications are working uh, in the real uh, in the real time, uh, which means that you can collaborate, right, and create together with your coworkers uh, in the real time. And basically, uh, that change the way the things are actually done um, uh, in your company. Uh, and Third pillar is also around the control and the uh, the access. So first of all, the drive when you can store all the documents and manage them uh, in the folders, um, but also very more important admin console when the administrator can manage all the licenses um, and all the application uh, from just one place. Uh, and then as well the 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 other application for the security uh, features like Vault, Endpoint, Mobile Management on or the Security Center. So basically, all of it, uh, like Google Workspace, gives you one unified solution, which makes it easier to to manage, right? In case you are having, you know, different solutions from different providers, um, uh, it, and, and and it's not possible to manage them from from one place. Uh, as well, Google Workspace have great APIs uh, to to connect with other third-party uh, third solutions. 
And moving on uh, to the next slide, I would like to tell you also a little bit more about our approach and uh, the Google values. I think it's very important uh, to just better understand how the product was built. Um, so first of all, uh, it's, it's very simple because the uh, Google Workspace uh, and Google Ad itself has been, uh, has been uh, cloud first, which means it's everything started in the cloud since the beginning. Uh, the user phrase is very, very uh, user friendly, so very easy, easy to use. And that simplicity lets you to basically collaborate securely once again from anywhere at, uh, at uh, any time. The second value is smart, and that's gonna apply to our artificial intelligence as well. As well. So all the features that basically Google implements into Google Workspace to make your work easier and more productive, uh, like smart canvas or smart reply. I believe that Alexander is gonna talk about it also a little bit more later. Uh, and then the third one, which is uh, also very important, the innovation. That's something that is in the core values of Google since the, since the beginning. And that actually also the Google Workspace, um, as I mentioned before, it changes the way that things are done at the company and boosts the creativity and change even a little bit the culture of of the of the work, how you do the things uh, in your in your company. Uh, and. Uh, I would like to stress out also how what kind of benefits the Google Workspace can bring into your company. So our researches shows that, uh, and external researches, not only ours, that uh, the users who are um, uh, uh, using Google Workspace, they, they are much more <laughs> happier uh, and basically it comes also from uh, from the values I just mentioned uh, from the simplicity how simple it is to use I'm pretty sure there is also uh, many of you that knows and are familiar with uh, with Gmail right and uh, our docs documents and everything that's also another plus one uh, in terms of the implementation of the product because it was very, you know, familiar. That means the implementation and the change management that you have to, you know, uh, let's say, uh, do in your company to adapt the new product is just very easy, simple, and and fast. But uh, yeah, coming back to the uh, to the to the aspect of the benefits uh, of uh, being more happier, companies um, uh, with engaged employees uh, have your retention by 68 percent also the, uh, the the innovation uh, uh within the company uh that brings also the higher profits by 75 percent and also the important aspect to mention is that uh, google workspace is used already by the students and the teachers like around one, more than 140 million students and teachers are using it, which means that also that defines the future workforce. Um, and in the future, uh, you know, the, the, the students that will be entering the, 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 uh, the workplace, they will be expecting from you also to, you know, to use the, the those kind of innovative tools. So this is also the way, kind of way to attract the new, uh, the new talents uh, to your company. And let's also shortly mention also the business impacts. Uh, so here are the numbers of how uh, you can save uh, the, the hours per user up to 170 hours per year, which is around 21 days per user per day. That applies to this, you know, increase of the productivity. But then you also decrease the, um, the on-demand tech support by 20%, and in total, uh, the ROI of your company driven by the Google Workspace can increase by 330%. 
And now those numbers are actually right now before we um, enter to AI revolution and the new uh, new adjustment, new features that will be coming with the artificial intelligence. So now imagine how, how much it can increase the productivity, increase your ROI um, and decrease your costs also with the artificial intelligence. So now I'm going to move smoothly to, to the to this AI aspect, so do it AI. That's the that's the name for the AI features that are um, getting implemented into the Google Workspace. And I would like to start with uh, with talking a little bit about the AI driven revolution. So it's being already um, said by, by, by the many researchers that we are just entering the new era, the new era of the AI revolution, the same as the steam power revolution in 1784 or electricity revolution in 1870 or the technolo uh, information technology revolution in 1969. So that's gonna be the new era of uh, which is going to be defined by the intuitive interactions uh, between humans and and the technology and by processing all the data uh, that we have publicly also available uh, we will be uh, able to basically create a text audio video and 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 the images so it's it's very exciting and it's already uh, we have already researches showing that the generative AI basically have the massive impact uh, on the, all the industries um, all, all across, I would say. Hmm. And now I would like to also mention about uh, uh, how the Google has his part into into that revolution because uh, uh, as i mentioned google's innovation is in their core values so we always been in the forefront of the artificial in intelligence uh, which is demonstrated by many researchers and the products that uh, were uh, were basically built by by google um, and uh, in 2017, there was a field breaking uh, transformed paper uh, written by the Google, uh, Google Brain. Also, throughout the time, there was released several large uh, models uh, since then, like Lambda or Palm. And we have been also preparing. also for uh, for our customers. So we are extremely well positioned to partner with the customers um, as the AI gets more and more uh, adapted. And actually right now in the Google Cloud offering, uh, you can already find the applications that are powered by the large models, like uh, including search, including the contact center AI, document AI, that those, let's say, those uh, products have been already available to us and they're available right now. And uh, Alexander will be talking also about the other features that will be coming in uh, soon in the Google Workspace. Uh, and uh, I would like to tell you also about the uh, generative AI, uh, what kind of new opportunities it brings to your uh, to your business. Um, and uh, large models that uh, promise us incredible opportunities because uh, they can innovate and create a new business value. So basically, traditionally, you have needed uh, big resources to extract and manage uh, complex, massive databases. Right now, the large models can process the world's publicly available data and uh, 
uh, and create uh, the new text, audio, images, uh, whatever, whatever it's needed basically for your business. So just to analyze the new opportunities, uh, it can improve the work of, of analysts and improve your um, time to value in terms of uh, searching, navigating and extracting the different insights from the, from the complex uh, data. But as well, we have here improvement of the, of the customer service, so we can uh, improve the online interactions uh, by researching the large client databases. Mm. Uh, uh, but as well for the creative people, we can also manage better uh, the content by basically generating the content, as I mentioned before, uh with the one click of the bottom and also the help of the for the ai practitioners to customize the foundational models uh by uh, you can customize the models to incorporate uh, them into your own internal ml operational uh, platforms and that being said, I would like to also play you a short video because I could talk about the benefits of uh, AI for for long, long term. But I think the video will tell us by itself how many uh, possibilities it can it can bring to your business. And then following that, uh, Alexander will gonna tell you a little bit more about the functionalities. So let's kick on with the video. So yeah, very, very exciting video that I love to watch. Uh, and yeah, and that being said, that's all from me. I'm gonna pass over to Alexander uh, to kick off with some more information about the coming functionalities. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. It was really nice speech by you as, as always. Thank you. So, uh, Alexander, yeah, I guess now it's your turn. So welcome, please. You can also switch the slides as you are co-presenter in a Google Meet. Yeah, perfect. Uh, thank you, Oleg. Thank you, Anna. Good morning, everyone. I'm happy to be here. My name is Alexander Vakula, and I am sales executive and cloud digital leader at CloudFresh. So today I'm going to talk about the capabilities or of artificial intelligence in Google Workspace, about solutions that are already helping us create, build, and grow together 
more efficiency. And also, I will show you the AI solutions coming to Google Workspace soon. And we will talk about some product updates, which uh, I would like to draw your attention to. So let's start. As Anna said, artificial intelligence has changed the approach to creating products that have taken their right place in people's lives. And since uh, 2015, Google has been incorporating AI capabilities in, into all Google Workspace services. Google's AI has already helped 3 billion users save more time. And let's see what features are already available. I have chosen them the most interesting ones. Smart Compose and Gmail. When I first saw Smart Compose and Gmail, uh, my reaction was, is it possible? How does Google know what I want to write? And Smart Compose helps you write emails easily by offering complete sentence in your emails so you can schedule them easily. It runs in the background uh, while you are writing emails as normally would and offers suggestions as you type. When you find an offer you like, you can simply press the top button to see it. And Smart Compose helps you save time by reducing repetitive entries and reducing the chance of spelling and grammatical errors. It may even suggest relevant phrases. For example, if today is Friday, it could be a sentence, have a nice weekend as a closing sentence. Smart reply in Gmail. When we are, uh, we are busy and checking email on the go, it's easy to read uh, them quickly. However, responding to emails can be a little tricky and time consuming. Uh, that's where Smart Reply comes to rescue. It saves your time by offering quick replies on your messages. When you receive an email, Smart Reply offers three response options based on the content of uh, the email. You can choose one of these offers and then you have two options. You can either send uh, a response right away without making any changes or you can edit the suggest text to personalize your response. Either way, using Smart Reply saves your time and effort. Summaries in Google Docs. Managing a large amount of information uh, we receive on our device can be a difficult task, right? So when it comes to documents, it's hard to determine uh, which ones are important and understand the main points without reading them all. That's why Google's create summaries in Google Docs. For example, let's say you received a long report in Google Docs. Instead of reading the whole document, you can simply view an auto-generated summary that highlights key ideas and important details. This feature helps you save time and quickly understand the essence of the document with having to read it from beginning to end. Portrait Restore in Google Meet. Have you ever had a video meeting um, where the lighting was poor or your web webcam uh, wasn't great? It can make you look less professional, right? And uh, Google Meet has a feature call it, uh, called Port uh, Restore that can help you with that. Uh, Portrait Restore uses AI to help improve your video quality. It works by fixing problems caused by low light, low quality webcams, or poor internet connection. The best part is that all the Processing happens in the cloud, so it won't slow down your device. It helps you maintain a professional appearance during a video meeting, meetings and ensure that you make a positive impression. 
formula suggestion. Next slide. I like using formula suggestion in Google Sheets. For, for me, it was like a game changer when uh, I work with formulas. You know, sometimes uh, it, it can be a little bit difficult to remember all the formulas uh, available in Sheets, especially if you are not a data analyst. But with formula suggestions, things have become much easier. When I start typing a formula, I see the relevant option right in the suggestion box. I save uh, my time and eliminate the need to manually search for the necessary function. More product updates that will increase your productivity. And during the last year, Google Workspace team has delivered over 300 new features both artificial and non-artificial, from security and reliability improvements for large companies to small teams. Let me highlight the updates that impressed me the most. Campaign mood in Google Meet. I'm excited to share my experience with the great Google Meet campaign mood. It has completely changed the way uh, video calls are held, especially when people uh, join from uh, a conference room with in-room equipment. Uh, people in conference room couldn't fully participate in the meeting because they didn't have access uh, to important features like meeting chats, emojis, hand rising, polls, and other. But now this problem is completely slowed. It's like a breeze of fresh, uh, fresh air for conference room meetings. Uh, now you have an opportunity to join, do, join the meeting with a company, uh, campaign device. You will automatically mute it, by, um, but you will have access to all necessary features. It encourages offline people to be more engaged and makes uh, Google Meets the same for online and offline participants. The next, SAR chips in Google Chat. Finding what you are looking for in Google Chat just go easier with SAR chips. These handy filters help you quickly refine your search results so you can find exactly what you need in no time. Here are some search chips that are available to help you narrow down your search from groups, from people, files, links mentions using these search chips you can save time and find the specific messages you want in google chat client site encryption for gmail this year client site encryption for gmail becomes generally available for google workspace enterprise plus and uh, education plus and education st standard customers Using client-side encryption in Gmail ensures that sensitive data in the email body or attach attachment cannot be decrypted by Google's servers. Customers retain control of encryption keys and the identity service to access the, the, those keys. All you have to do is just to turn on the encryption uh, while preparing an email, as you can see on the screen. Uh, from that moment, you should not worry about the safety of your data. So this is a truly great possibility to retain control after your emails uh, are confidential anytime you wish. How Google is making Workspace even more helpful with Duet AI? Let's see what's coming next. Anna said about Duet AI making for workspace more helpful. AI service uh, uh, saves your time, but also generates truly unique content. Let's go see more features in detail. Here is an overview of uh, the new set of AI features that will help us be more efficient. Uh, with these features, you will be able to 
write and rewrite in documents, bring your creating vision to life with automatically generated images, audio and video slides. You can create new backgrounds in Google Meet. Help me write in docs. For example, if you need to write a job description, Dude AI is here to assist you every step on the way. It's not only helps you with the content, but also provides helpful smart tips for information like job location and status. It even allows you to customize details such your company name all within the same document. Help me write in Gmail. I'm very excited to share this innovation with you uh, because it's my favorite. Uh, sometimes it can be difficult to find the right tone and style when writing emails or summarizing important information. But don't worry anymore because Google has some incredible new features. Let's say you are applying for a new job or communicating with someone in more formal writing style. You may need to adopt a formal tone in your email in order to make the right impression. Or perhaps you took a few quick notes on your phone during the meeting and now want to turn them into well thought out summary to share with your team. In such cases, new generative AI capabilities will come to rescue. help me visualize in slides a picture is worth a thousand words is it true right and now creating unique and cool images for presentation is about to become a lot easier and faster help me visualize in slides means you can generate images effortlessly with just a few words this is amazing because these image models have the ability to visualize something that has never, never existed before. Existed before, yeah. So as you can see on the slide, you can write, um, create a picture where the giraffe will be in the background of the um, Eiffel Tower, and you will see a completely unique giraffe that visited Paris. help me organize and classify data in Google Sheets. Great news for Google Sheets users. You will soon be able to easily describe what you want to achieve and spreadsheet will generate a template so you can get straight right away. For example, let's say you are a project manager working on a website launch. You can ask Sheets to create a spreadsheet with columns for owners due dates and project status and just like that you will have a spreadsheet ready to build your project plan but it's not all uh, ai will also help automatically classify data in spreadsheet classification tools understand the context of the data in a cell and assist a label to it this means you no longer need to manually en enter data labels. These AI-powered features in the Google Sheets make your work more efficient, organized, and visually appealing. Say goodbye to manual data entry and hello to simplified workflows. Thank you. That's all from me for now. I will get back to you with a quick demo of a cool appointment schedule feature. And now I will give, <clears throat> I will give uh, the floor to the next speaker. Yeah, thanks, Alexander. Thanks for letting us know for those uh, updates that are already here and uh, that also will be available soon. Uh, Dimitro, I guess you are ready. We can... Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, Let's... Alec. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Dmitro. I'm delighted to be here today representing Jubal, a company I have proudly been a part 
of, for the past nine years, and I currently hold the position of head of IT support. Uh, over the past four years, our team has encountered uh, numerous challenges. Uh, it all began with the outbreak of the coronavirus, which compelled us to transition all employees to remote work uh, while ensuring the security of our infrastructure. Uh, following that, the full-scale invasion by Russia forced us to reevaluate many aspects of our work. Many employees had to leave their homes, uh, yet even in such difficult moments uh, of our lives, we and continue to work and help our country in many ways. Uh, our team exhibited exceptional teamwork, uh, technical expertise, and strong sense of purpose uh, throughout these challenging times. Uh, we continuously adopted the evolving uh, circumstances, making necessary adjustments to our process and workflows. So uh, today I will share this uh, exciting journey of Jubal and the seamless integration of Google Workspace into our operation. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, let me begin by introducing Jubal. Jubal is a global product based IT company. Its main product is an uh, international job search website. Uh, millions of people in uh, 69 countries use daily. Uh, it is one of the top 10 most popular employment resources in terms of traffic in the jobs and employment segment, according to similar web. Um, uh, Jubal is a remote-first company. Currently, the 330-plus professional in our team communicate in 25 different languages. Every day, Jubal aggregates vacancies with more than 140,000 resources from around the world. Sources include corporate websites, social networks, uh, classifieds, and other resources. Those all jobs offer available in one place. So, why exactly do we make this choice? At Jubal, we understand that effective communication is the backbone of successful collaboration. We rely heavily on email as a primary means of communication. Uh, a reliable email server ensures that our messages reach their intended recipients promptly and reliably, uh, allowing us to maintain smooth and uninterrupted communication with our partners, clients, and website visitors. Uh, recently, we made a strate strategic decision uh, to transition to Google Workspace, and I would like to share the reasons behind this choice. Uh, we opted for Google Workspace due to several key factors. Uh, first of all, uh, it's corporate email using Gmail. Gmail, with its convenient administration features and robust anti-spam algorithm, provide our company a reliable and user-friendly email service. Next one is versatile API and extensive documentation. Google Workspace uh, offers a feature-rich uh, API and well-documented resources, enabling us to automate various processes within our organization. Another one is synchronized ecosystem. Google Workspace uh, environment and encompassing email, uh, Google Calendar, and Google Meets deliver significant advantages in terms of seamless integration and streamlined collaboration. And the last one is uh, familiarity with Gmail. Gmail's widespread usage uh, as a personal email service minimizes the learning curve of our, for our employees, uh, ensuring the smooth transition. Uh, uh, let's explore the positive global impact of integration Google Workspace product into our company operations. Uh, the unified ecosystem of Google Workspace empower our employees, facilitating quick calendar synchronization, effortless meeting sh scheduling, and uh, efficient document sharing. I want to highlight the advantages of Google Appointments Schedule feature which greatly enhanced our ability to plan our work days and minimize the time spent uh, scheduling meetings with colleagues. By simply sharing a link to our appointment schedule via messenger apps, we have eliminated the time consuming and back and forth coordination required in the past. Uh, during the time when Russia was heavily targeting civilian energy infrastructure, especially this winter, we embarked uh, on a collaboration with Cloudfresh. 
Despite the challenges posed by bombs, power outage, and communication disruption, the professionals uh, at CloudFresh displayed remarkable planning and execution skills. Together, we successfully uh, migrated our company to Google Workspace product. Uh, when we made this transition to Gmail, our own mail server had uh, 2,073 mail accounts. 1,617 aliases and 66 distribution lists and numerous forward rules. During our transition to Google Workspace, we received an available assistance from, from CloudFresh. They guide us through each steps of the migration, providing a clear plan that ensure our employees a seamless and unobtrusive transition. They are expect expert consultations and prompt responses for our questions played a crucial role in the success of our migration. Uh, additionally, CloudFresh offered a flexible service packages uh, tailoring their offering to our specific needs. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, the integration of Google Workspace has brought a significant positive change to Jubal. We have uh, experienced improved collaboration, uh, streamlined workflows, and increased productivity through the unified ecosystem offered by Google Workspace. So thank you for your attention, uh, support Ukraine, and have a nice day. Yeah, let me draw. Thanks uh, for your slides, for this story, and uh, for the warm words for the cloud fresh. Yeah, I join your quote as well. Please support Ukraine as much as possible as well. And uh, let's proceed. And it's demo time. Alexander, do you mind if I will stop presenting for a while and you will? present your own screen yeah as agreed so then you will have the bigger picture in the google meet okay and then i will go i will present once more okay it's great okay thanks so let's start as i said earlier i will show you how to set up the appointment schedule feature in google calendar which recently becomes available for um, the most of the Google Workspace editions. And it's helpful tool to connect with your partners or clients. They can book a meeting with you through your personal booking page. So you can avoid wasting time for communication, for making an appointment and make it faster. Let's see how to set it up. It's super simple. Uh, let's open the calendar. In just a second, I will share my screen. Okay. Do you see it? Um, yes. Okay. Yes. Great. So, what should we do? We should click on the Create button uh, and choose Appointment Schedule. Um, here we should give the name. For example, Alexander's schedule. I will put uh, such a smiley to show clients how serious I am, or maybe this. Yes, and then you should choose how long the meeting will continue. Uh, I will uh, change it for 15 minutes it's here 15 minutes uh, then you need to set your work time and your availability during uh, the day if you need you can change your time slot uh, slots for example i choose uh, from 10 a.m to 6 p.m and i can um, copy time to all days and after this you need to choose the availability for your uh, work schedule here you should agree uh, on how many days in advance somebody can took, uh, can book your time. For me, 60 days, uh, it's okay. And then you should decide uh, how early people uh, can book an appointment with you. Four hours is also good for me, so I can leave it like this. And we should click on the next button. Here we sh should select uh, where we want to hold 
meetings in the location and conference uh, section, I choose Google Meet. Um, and you can personalize your calendar, for example, at description, let it be agenda. After that, click on the save button, save. And here it is, you have just created your personal appointment scheduling and how to share your booking page uh, through email. Uh, click on the share button and copy the link. Share, copy the link, go to mail, press settings, all settings, scroll to the button and find the signature option. Here it is. And uh, you can write some text. You can see that I will use book a meeting with me and um, you should paste uh, the link that we copied, uh, copied earlier. Oh. And don't forget to uh, push save, save changes. And after that, you can see your booking page. It's my booking page. And uh, as we see, this feature is convenient to set up. Once you follow all these steps, you will be a successful owner of this friendly booking solution. Uh, it also automatically syncs with Google uh, Calendar, so you don't need to worry about meeting overlaps. So that's all from my side. Thank you very much for your attention. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, uh, that's good that we are recording, so you will be able to see it later as well. And let's get back uh, to one of the final stage of our webinar. So, as I mentioned in the beginning, yeah, it's going to be quiz. Uh, so, we have three gift certificates. Yeah, uh, there will be three questions with four options to answer. Yeah, and your task is to answer as fast as possible here in chat in a Google Meet with the right number of the answer. So, I guess we can start. So, first question. When the first AI features appeared in Google Workspace? And here are the possible options. Please write the number. Mm -hmm. I see. Thank you. And the right answer is, so the first AI features appeared in Google Workspace at 2015. It was shared on a slide by Alexander. Uh, let's go with the second question. And I see that the first was Alexey Rybutsky. Alexey, congratulations to you. So you will have the first gift card from us. Let's go with the second question. The second one. How many updates has Google Workspace released in 2022? Here is the answers. Okay, thank you a lot for the answers. Thank you for them. And let's go with the correct one. So, Google has a bit more than 300 updates last year. And I guess that then from Romania, yes was the first one with the answers exactly 300 yeah but still is this is the fastest and the um, correct answer so thank you and the last one 
questions. Let's be prepared. So the last one, what is the AI feature among the following? It's smart reply, it's portrait restore, it's smart compose, or all of the above. So, 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 so. Also a lot of the answers. Thanks for being active. Um, and the correct one, the correct one, I guess you understand, it's all of the above. Yeah, so smart reply, portrait restore, smart compose. Here are all of the uh, AI feature from Google Workspace. And I guess, I guess, the first one was just a second. Uh, Vaidotas, if I pronounced your name correct, yes. Yeah, congratulations to you. The third uh, gift card uh, will be with you. So, and the very last uh, part, uh, yeah, sorry, back to, shortly to the quiz. Yeah, for sure, we will contact you directly. If you will not receive anything from us during, let's say, next hour, please uh, contact us at hi at cloudfresh.com. And uh, the very last stage is Q&A session. Uh, there were some questions in the chat which we covered during the webinar. And uh, please, if you have more, uh, let's have a short uh, discussion. Yeah, about the features, perhaps you are interested when those features will be available, how, and so on. So I see that, I guess, actually we covered all of the questions, but please don't hesitate to double ask in chat if we missed something. Uh, there, were, there were questions about the release dates. Yeah, and uh, generally it will be, let's say, it, it start to be released all of the features especially those that we are uh, showed by anna with the video they will be available let's say very close to the end of this year and q1 of the next year yeah but uh, like as google rollouts uh, those features not like 100 percent for all of the uh, three billion uh, one billion users uh, around the world yeah so it, it uh, like has the partial effect so someone can receive it uh, earlier uh some questions yeah we have indeed and let's go with them shortly uh karen uh do external users for examples my partners can use the companion mode and join the meetings it depends on what is the solution yeah they're using but like if it's google workspace yeah, you can give them the those rights. For example, like here I gave at this meeting, yeah, I gave them uh, host rights to Anna, Alexander, and Mitro. Yeah, and they uh, can use it. Yeah, and by the way, for example, yeah, Anna definitely from another domain, Google.com, obviously. Yeah, and Mitro from Jubal.com. So they are not in our domain, not in our infrastructure. Uh, so while we give the rights they can uh do also companion mode as well uh regarding the recording yeah i shared the uh, youtube link above i will ask anastasia just to double share it here there at our web uh, at our youtube channel will be available the recording of this i guess very very soon um Yuri, I guess, has the question about in the about the scheduling. Does it work with multiple Google calendars, uh, work and uh, personal? Like work, definitely, as uh, Alexander showed. Uh, in personal Gmail, honestly, not sure. I don't remember when I last time used the uh, personal one. Yeah, but it, it just the question to to check it. Yeah, because this feature appointment scheduling is already available uh, in the workspace yeah you don't need to wait for the global rollout so just just to check might, might be actually might be. yeah 
then the question about the resolution in the Google Meet, yeah, uh, 1080p, uh, when it will be available. Actually, it's available right now, yeah, for example, at Cloudflare here, uh, we're using it, and I can check here even my, uh, yeah, I have it as well. Right now I have 720, yeah, but now I will switch to 1080. I switched already, so it's available. Maybe you just need to check the settings firstly in a Google admin and then on the end user side, because like for my uh, experience here, yeah, I, I just had 720 and just switch to, to, to 1080. So generally it's available already. So uh, you are asking what's the languages that will be supported by those uh, AI features, especially the ones for dogs and mail. So for obvious reasons, the most common language here will be the English here, and it will be the first one here. Uh, then the most, again, popular uh, languages, such as Portuguese, uh, Spanish, Japanese as well, uh, other European uh, languages. And I guess as a short, let's say, uh, wave, yeah, there will be um, languages like less, let's say, popular as kind of Slavic languages as well. Yeah, but it's like usually works uh, like this. Even in the uh, captures, translations, etc. yeah, all of those additional languages, let's say, uh, yeah, they are also available. So the next one, Paul, when will Google tasks be integrated with Google Sheets as it's with Google Docs, ability to import checkboxes items in task. I'm uh, not sure that I have here right now precise the answer, yeah, if it will be in the roadmap. Yeah, there, there is, by the way, the roadmap of all of the Google Workspace feature, you just can Google uh, it, or better ask us at hi at cloudfresh.com if you don't mind. Well, yeah, and we will answer you precisely. Uh, the next one, Marta, if the person is outside of my organization and even does not have Google account, does she has the possibility to access my booking page and schedule the meeting with me? Marta, actually, yes. The thing is that the Google Meet, yeah, like with Google Meet, you don't need, like for participating in reading, you don't need to have the Google account. Yeah, for creating purposes, yes, you do have to. But to join, you can join without even Google account. Uh, then one more question, Google Meet hardware. Any plans to add Teams uh, join option on the hardware? I guess you're asking the Teams may be Microsoft as it like a kind of common question about cross platforms, yeah. And yes, there are indeed plans. I don't honestly remember uh, the, uh, the deadline for this uh, rollout. I guess it's somewhere in the Q4 this year. But yes, indeed, indeed, those two companies, I mean, like Google and the Microsoft, they are, as far as I remember from uh, meeting uh, maybe two weeks ago at uh, Prague with Google and Lenovo, uh, there is this plan, yeah, and they would like to combine yeah, this solution, make it cross-platform. Uh, Oleg, thank you also for attending our uh, presentations and webinar. And yeah, double question with you. I mean, can I connect Tau Plus calendar in one uh, scheduler? Uh, Yuri, this need to be tested yeah, by us. So if you don't mind, please uh, write us to hi at cloudfresh.com, yeah, and our support guys can uh, test it together with you, so you will know not only is it possible or no, and also you will know how to do it. So, and I guess the last one from Paul so far, uh, when will the option to delegate tasks from Google tasks instead of workspace slash chat uh here paul yeah i guess maybe the previous question i also asked you to write us an email because it's specific about some 
uh, very sophisticated functionality in uh, Google Workspace. So if you don't mind, yeah, please reach out to us and believe me that we will reply to you with precise answer if it's possible and if it's possible, then how, how to do it. Uh, yeah, thanks Paul, to you as well. So I guess, yeah, everybody asked the question who want and then I will stop the presenting. I guess it was, ah, of course, of course, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you for investing your time in this. I really hope that you at least find it useful for your own. Yeah, generative AI is like a very popular topic nowadays. And you see, Google is not the only uh, who works on that. So uh, I just would like, again, thank you for your time. Thank you for being active. Thank you for taking uh, activity in the quiz and the questions. I do wish you really nice week ahead, uh, safe weekend, and see you soon. Stay safe. Goodbye, guys.